Okay, hello guys and welcome to the start of well my let's play of Resident Evil 4. Um yeah, quick sort of rundown. Resident Evil 4 came out in 2005 on the GameCube originally and was well it is one of the best games I've ever played. And it's just been re-released on Steam in HD and well, I say well, I was going to say snazzy new textures, but slightly better textures. So uh, in some areas. So um, yeah. Without any further ado, let's get on with Resident, Resident Evil, 4. Evil Four. Nineteen ninety-eight. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Corny, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. Oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. Because they're so important to the plot. <laughs> oh, I'll try, well, for anyone who hasn't seen this yet, I'll try not to spoil things that happen. Well, like later on it was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted that's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe according to our intelligence there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter apparently she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission Freezing. So cold all of us are it. Eh, must be my imagination. You keep telling yourself that. Sorry it took so long. Yeah, one thing I should note is one of the m amazing new features of this is that it's 60 FPS. Only I'm recording at 30 FPS. I'll go and have a look around. So. We'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. 
parking tickets. Good oh god. That's really messed with the Jeez. Who are these guys? <laughs> with this cutscene. Did you say something? <laughs> oh god. I'll see if I can fix that then. Take two. Oh god, it seems choppy. I'm a. Uh, in case anyone's wondering, I'm playing with controller and I've not played Resident Evil 4 for a long time. Yeah, I would play at 60 FPS, but the last time I tried to record anything at 60 FPS was um, Kerbal Space Program, and that didn't end well. Normally you can jump through windows, but not this one. Whatever. It's surely nothing. Uh, oh, I, me. I know what's Sir? annoying me. It's the motion blur. I'll see if turning that off helps, because that is really annoying me. I was anyway, wondering yeah. if you might recognize the, the first local. Sorry to I understood a key, which is here. So I'm guessing so I guess she's not here. Freeze a sec. Motion blur off. Oh my god, that is so much better. There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. He's not a zombie. But he's pretty fucking ugly. Wow, those two deep maggots. Oop. Sup. Oh god, there's three of you. What are you doing? Fuck. Alive. Stop that. So yeah, quite sort of um well dated compared to <laughs> a lot more modern games, but back in the day this was freaking awesome. I mean I think I was twelve when I first played this. Um, I'd never really played anything like it. I mean, I did try playing the first Resident Evil remake on the GameCube, but that, uh, well, to put it lightly, scared the ever living crap out of me. So that was a game I didn't own for long. But this, for whatever reason, just because the people attacking you weren't zombies, I found this much easier going. Yep, this sign means traps. See the sign? You're coming across traps. Like this poor dog did. Let's help him. Yeah, 
disappear off into the wilderness. Does this sign say anything? Village! Let's see if we can go. Fuck. Pfft. He just gave up on life. Like, oh, I'm dead. Uh, that's one thing I saw in the screenshots. I don't like what they've done to the wood textures for these huts. Uh, he's such a joker. Old Leon. Oh, wrong. I keep on pressing left trigger to aim. Damn modern games and their modernness. Hello! Be bothered to shoot you. It bugged me that the tree was perfectly in the way, so you couldn't shoot him. Screw I know how to play, thank you. I'm gonna try not to talk over cutscenes. Um but I'm gonna try and talk during gameplay, which is awkward because I well, simply put I'm not good at multitasking, so I can either play or I can talk. I'm not very good at doing both. Well, lovely. Wow, that chicken doesn't even have feet. Wait, does it? No, doesn't even have feet. Well, it does. They're in the ground. Ah, uh, this bit was so amazing for me. Just seeing these people going about their just daily lives in a game where I'm supposed to be killing them. Not like the fact that oh look, these are. Or word and all people, just the wow, they've got people doing like non evil things in a game. <laughs> Bitch, no, I want your guys' money. No. That's that's pretty much how you deal with situations. You run up, shoot a guy, run away. Ah. Yes, I would like that yellow herb. And I'd like this red herb. Why is that... Okay, how do you bring up the... Menu? Start. I guess that makes sense, but why is it no longer... Why? They just have to go and... So yeah, anyway, when you combine, you can combine herbs. I think you could in the original Resident, like, evil, old, older Resident Evil games, but you can combine two green herbs to restore more health, three to restore all health, a red herb and a green herb to restore all your health, a green herb and a yellow herb to increase your maximum health, and green, red, and yellow to, um... Increase your health and fully restore it. Ooh, an egg. Nope. 
Oh, I've got an interesting idea. I'm going to do it fast. Oh, gold egg. Hell yeah. First. Because after a while, the bell will toll and all the people will leave. So how about we try and get some money by attracting this prick. Dr. Salvador, otherwise known as Bagface. Okay, let's uh, leave before he gets surrounded. Well, because when you kill Dr. Salvador, you get 10,000 money. And you can spawn him twice in this section. So, we might as well try and farm as much money. And I take your thinking, but why is there money? There's nothing to spend it on. Your friend was supposed to do... Oh god, here comes a lot of them. Uh, Sally, where are you? Sally! Did I despawn Sally by running away too much? Okay, let's do the... What you're supposed to do. Let's get in this house. Why these people? This was the other thing that amazed me about this game. Was you could move furniture to block windows and stuff. Okay, quickly scavenge the downstairs before. Uh, buttons right! Let's get our new toy. The shotgun. Pretty much there's two staple weapons in Resident Evil 4. The pistol and the shotgun. Yeah, you don't fucking dare, you prick. Oh, is there? You wanna come in? You wanna come in? No. <laughs> is it the side? No, it's the other side. Crap. Oh! Piss! Leaving! We... need the shotgun. I tried to dodge that and I ran into that. Oh! No you don't! Ow. You can piss off. Yeah, I fucking exploded your head with my elbow. Yeah, if Dr. Salvador catches you, it's instant death. So, let's use that. And as you can see, we got a tiny little segment of extra health. Yeah, no. Ow. Man, I need to reload. Ow. I was hoping I could ninja pass, but nope. Reload, please! Oh, fuck. This is going bad. <laughs> okay. Let's equip you for now. You did not throw that far! You can tell when Baghead dies because the chainsaw stops revving. Oh! Pff, no! Fine, I'll shoot it. 
God, make me waste a whole bullet. That was useful. No. And the bell tolls and they leave. everyone going bingo yes Leon they are going to play bingo because this definitely